All right, going to do a video refuting the Catholic Calvinist heresy of infant damnation. What this heresy in Calvinism, what it basically says is that non-elect infants go to hell, and in Catholicism they just say that non-baptized infants go to hell. Uh, but it's just it's full on heresy. It's just complete Gnostic doctrine. Uh, it's I, I believe it's fully of the devil because you know it's an attack on the character and nature of God. That's what Roman Catholicism and Calvinism are. Okay, both of them essentially just come from Gnosticism. So anyway. We're going to show the scriptures that actually refute this uh, damnable heresy of infant damnation that came from Gnosticism and is now taught by Catholicism, which in turn was taught by Calvinism, which, which basically in turn is taught by Calvinism because really Calvinism is just reformed Catholicism and also reformed Gnosticism. It's basically just repackaged Gnosticism and reformed Catholicism because you know the Protestants by definition are just modified Catholics. They're, they're protesting the Catholic Church. They want to change it. So... Anyway, that's why you'll see they retained a lot of the heresies of Rome. But I'm going to show the scriptures on the matter. So first of all, the scriptures clearly show that you can only be held accountable for your sins when you have moral knowledge. Okay, John chapter 9, verse 39 down to verse 41. And Jesus says, Jesus said, sorry, For judgment I am come into this world, that they, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now but now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. Okay, notice that. If they're blind, they have no sin. Okay, you can see that's kind of an application of if you don't know your sin, if you don't know that it's a sin, if you don't have the moral knowledge, then you don't have the sin. It's not held on your account. Okay, this totally destroys Calvinism. You know, because infants are not able to know this kind of stuff. Okay, John chapter 15, verse 22 down to verse 24. Uh, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now they have both seen and, ha they have both seen and hated both me and my father. Notice that. If he hadn't done that, they would have obviously not been held accountable for their sin because they would have no moral knowledge. But they are because Jesus did the works and they rejected it, and now they're, they can be held accountable. James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Okay? Infants are not capable of having this kind of moral knowledge. Okay? They can't be held accountable for it. And, more, and even, even in adulthood, this still applies, actually. Because, for example, Paul, Paul basically obtained mercy when he uh, did what he did out of ignorance. Okay? Paul wasn't held accountable for what he did when he had no moral knowledge of when he did it. And basically, he essentially didn't know any better. And this is even as an adult, he wasn't held accountable for it. Because if you don't have moral knowledge, then you can't be held accountable. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12 to 13. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me, uh, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. He got mercy because why? He didn't know any better. He had no moral knowledge on the matter. Okay, the Jews who crucified Christ were shown mercy because they didn't have knowledge that what they did was evil and sin. Okay, Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted, they parted his raiment and cast lots. And this is even in adulthood. This still applies. Okay, you can only, and this is, totally flies in the face of this Gnostic, this Gnosticism of Calvinism and Catholicism. You know, uh, Next point is that you can only be condemned against the law by your sin if you first have knowledge of the law. Romans chapter 7, verse 7 to 11. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had, for I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. But sin, taking occasion by the by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of con conspicuance. Probably not saying that right, but anyway. Uh, for without the law, sin was dead. For I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found it to be unto death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, uh, deceived me, and by it slew me. Uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 19 to 20. 
Now we know that what things, uh, what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. And also Romans chapter 5, verse 12 to 13. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned, for until the law was in the world, but sin was not imputed when there when there is no law. Okay? Sin is not imputed when there is no law. Sorry, that's what the verse says. Okay? Uh, if there's no law to be condemned against, you can't be having sin imputed to your account. And if you don't have knowledge of the law, like we see in, in uh, Romans 7, verse 7 to 11, you're not held against it. You know, you can't be held accountable for something you have no moral knowledge to know to do, basically know to do or not to do. And this goes and again, and it flies in the face rate of this Gnosticism of Calvinism and Catholicism because children have no knowledge between good and evil. Uh, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 15 to 16. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may refute, know to refuse the evil and to choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, that the land that thou abhorrest may, shall be forsaken of both our kings. Before he knows to, do, to choose to do good or evil. You know? He doesn't have that moral knowledge yet. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 39. Moreover, your little ones, which ye said, should be, a, should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and un, unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. They had no knowledge. Again, they, they're not able to have this, no, this moral knowledge that is required of the person to be held accountable for their sin. Okay, Romans chapter 9 verse 11. For the children being not yet born, ne neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. Okay? Having neither done good nor evil. Why? Because sin is not imputed when there is no law. Okay? If you got no moral knowledge, then you can't be held accountable for what you do. Okay? Th this totally flies in the face of this Gnostic you know, do doctrine of devils taught by Catholicism and Calvinism of infant damnation. It's an attack on the character of God. Also, you read um, I think it's uh, for uh, Second Samuel, sorry, Second Samuel, sorry, chapter twenty-two, or I think it's Second Samuel, Second Samuel chapter twelve, verse twenty-one and twenty-two. If I'm not mistaken, don't have, this is not in my notes, but uh, David talked about how he would go to see his son again after he died. You know, because he knew his son would go be with the father and he would go see him again. Why? Because infants are not condemned to hell because they have no moral knowledge. They can't be held for the they can't be held accountable for their sin. Plain and simple. So anyway, uh, don't be deceived by this Gnostic heresy of Calvinism that uh, non-elect infants or unbaptized infants are damned. And not to mention the fact, too, there's absolutely no scriptural basis for infant baptism, which is ironically practiced in both Calvinism and Catholicism, showing that Calvinism, again, is just modified Catholic doctrine, as well as just modern-day Gnostic heresy. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Sorry, goodbye.